Nice. Matus, Assalamu alaikum. Although I prefer going to the market, uh, today I want to show you a supermarket here in Morocco. See if it's the same thing like it's in the West. Are they selling the same products like they do in the West, in Europe, or America? Do they sell mainly Moroccan products? Let's go and find out. Quite a few uh, supermarket chains in Morocco. I think Carrefour and Marjan being the, the biggest, but I think Marjan is the one we're checking out. He's the most Moroccan because Carrefour is actually a French chain, right? Let's go and check out the Marjan market. Probably have to put on a mask, well, which is fair enough, you know. Just in, in Morocco so far, I've not really had to put on masks so often. Of course, there's nothing wrong with uh, masking up inside the supermarket or the transport, or, you know. Let's see. Here, you can disinfect your hands if you want, if you think that's necessary. And we're right in, inside. See, that's it. You can, be, you can buy some baked goods here, and then all others right here. All right. So what do we have here? We've got a fruit and vegetable section right here. A little bit of the bread section, you know, the burger buns, the, the toast bread, some lemons, some tomatoes, and you know, all kinds of fruities and fruit products here. All right. It looks very market-like, but at the same time, it's very different, I think. Of course, you have a bigger selection on apples and plums. Check out the palm grenades. <laughs> They're big. Wow, that's almost as big as my head. <laughs> I've never seen this, actually. They got very small khaki. I see khaki outside, but they're bigger. But they're more like the khaki person. Papaya. Oh, they're from Morocco. Interesting. Oh, all those spices, black pepper, kukurma, coriander, curry. You know, all kinds of thingies. Canel, cumin. You know, they use a lot of cumin here too as well. Ginger, chili. Wow. Oh, hey, some dried chickpeas, some different noodles, some kind of a bean, lentils, popcorn, more lentils, different kinds of lentils. And then there's rice here. This is the famous couscous, we still have to try that. This is the basmati rice, actually. Oh, I feel like I'm in back in Pakistan. All right, yellow and white rice. See more lentil stuff already packed. This is olive oil, and of course, dates. We have the meat section. All right, of course, this is our halal meat. And you have quite a variety already with spices, minced meat, you know. You've got your merkes here, of course. Even here you have the, the lungs and hearts, the cow feet, different kinds of sausages. Wow, there's quite a variety actually. And here is cheese paradise. All right. Quite some cheese. Miss is la vache qui rit. And others. This, you find this everywhere in uh, Morocco. Different kinds of yogurts. For like, for most, most of them are like for two dirhams, which is yeah, like 20 cents. Different kinds of eggs. Also, quail eggs. Yes. 
Okay, I'm not I'm not allowed to film in here anymore. It's tattletailed on me. I can't believe it. So yeah, I'll buy a, little, a few things and I'll show you after. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> they actually did not let me make a little video about their freaking supermarket, you know. Ah, oh, very nice outside. Ah, oh, nice palm trees, flowers. No difference. <laughs> they would not let me finish filming. Guys, it's just, of course, it's just a regular supermarket, really. I mean, of course, it has Moroccan products, which I, I bought a bag full, and I'll show you when we're home, right? We have encountered this actually in other places as well. I've, uh, in Pakistan, I was not allowed to, to film the malls, you know. I mean, I just wanted to film like merchandise, like groceries in the grocery store. And yeah, they said, no, 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 no. This guy, first guy comes up to me, he says, I have, I have no authorization of filming in here. And I would need to talk to the director, you know, whatever, the, the boss, right? Yeah, fair enough, all right. Uh, bring me to the boss, he'll bring me to the boss. And she says, no, 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 you don't have to talk. You have to talk to the higher boss. And then she'll bring me the higher boss. And then that happened three times, you know, and then I talked to the actual boss. And she said, you have no authorization. She cannot give it to me. You can't invent that, right? So ridiculous, you know? And I'm sure it's, it'll be the same in the Kafu. Uh, yeah, for Morocco, that's it. That's my... Supermarket video. Uh, let's uh, let's go home and check out what I bought. We'll look at the Moroccan products. All right. <sighs> Screw these guys. <laughs> hey, you got a box, right? Hey guys, so this is what I bought. It doesn't look like a lot, and it isn't. The whole the whole shopping tour uh, cost me yeah 401 dirham exactly. That is like. But 40 euros uh, would make maybe 45 US dollars or is it more? Maybe something like that. These exchange rates, you know, they keep changing, you know. It also depends who's president in the US, right? Expensive item was was the shavers, you know. The, you know, the Gillette Match 3, you know, which I'm using right now. So I look like a teenager and they're like 64 uh, dirham. So this was the most expensive item on the menu. I'm not gonna go through all of it, you know, but you know, just like, I'll show you a little bit, you know. Anyway, so this is the milk. <laughs> I don't know what it cost, maybe, maybe $1 or something. We bought some cornflakes, you know, like a 500 gram. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna find it. Yeah, this is like for 24 dirham, which was, you know, which is like, you know, Let's call it two buck fifty, right? Anyway, so what else do we have? We bought some flip flops for my son because the old ones, you know, screwed. <laughs> they were like uh, they were like about fifteen dirhams, right? We do eat out at least once a day, and yeah, we have breakfast here mostly because yeah, the kids are not hungry in the morning, so I'll take them and we'll go for for lunch or dinner. Uh, ouch to the restaurants we have an apartment like here we're renting this place here for a month so uh we do a, a fair bit of uh of cooking but also you know we bring home food uh, <laughs> we bring foods home from the market or from the restaurants or you know we go and sit there as well you know we, we do we do enjoy that a lot and food is very very great in morocco so you don't really have to cook yourself but you know actually it's a lot of fun to be cooking yourself you know and traveling here we've been traveling for more than four years so of course it is always great to have a you know a taste of home uh whatever home means to you see is like when i cook i i mostly cook asian foods you know because that feels the most home oh uh, yeah we got some more milk because of the cornflakes and we got some asian noodles yeah don't ask me what they cost you know the whole thing cost about 40 us or 45 us anyway so we got a few burgers you know uh, four burgers. I don't know. They cost like two dollars. I think or maybe it's two fifty We bought something that I really do not like to admit is the Nescafe classic, you know, 
uh, which is, you know, first of all, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, not, not a Nescafe, a Nestle fan, although I'm a Swiss guy, but uh, it's quick, you know. Uh, if we go out to the cafe here, coffee is super strong, super great, you know. And I, where we're staying here, we don't have a coffee machine proper, so um, we do this thing. But I do not recommend buying this actually. Anyway, so we got some rice, of course. I told you, Asian cuisine, right? Anyway, what else? We got some soy sauce, uh, which is also made here, actually. So I'm not even sure, I can't even read that. It's all in Arabic, and then there's some in French. And yeah, anyway, we got some cheese. Some Emmental cheese, because of the pasta, you see, right? So this is actually, uh, this is rather expensive. Uh, yeah, cheese is not a cheap thing in, in Morocco. And we got a big pack of yogurts. And I do, talking about milk products, actually in, 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 in Morocco, yogurts are great, you know. Actually, also the milk is great. And, and, and the, it's just not there. They don't have this kind of cheese, you know. Not so much, anyway. So, yeah, kids love him. Anyway, so we got this thingy here to make the bathroom smell great. And then we've got jam, strawberry jam, made in Morocco. It is called Aisha. Aisha, Aisha, écoutez-moi. Aisha is a very popular name in Morocco, I would say. Anyway, and we've got some of all the old sweet tooth, you know, like we're talking about breakfast stuff. We got this uh, chocolate honey hazelnut spread. Sergio, pat a tatini. Yeah, this may be as well made in Morocco, I think. And the coolest thing we're talking about breakfast here is uh, because even the Moroccans and us and everybody loves honey around here. Honey is great. And I found this. <laughs> You have just just honey comes in a glass, but this honey comes in a can. Huh? How cool is that? Dar es asal, asal, huh? How cool is this? Huh? The bee here, see that's the bee who made the honey. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, I had to buy it. Anyway, so what do we have? We have we got some madeleine, madeleine. The like cupcakes, you know, the kids again, and yeah. We, we, we bought a little bit of, you know, box or a, bo uh, not a box, a can of maize, corn, you know, maize, du son grain, 340 grams, I don't know. Anyway, we got some ketchup because of the burger, right? And what else do we have? Well, we got these little juice thingies, mango juice, uh, also. They're, they're, made, they're made in Morocco, right? They're even called Marrakesh. Right? Marrakesh. And here, in Arabic. See? All right. I like this. We got this cheese, you know, that's actually... <laughs> it's also not the cheapest of all the things we bought. <laughs> and so it opens here. <laughs> oh, man! Can I open this? Ah. All right, anyway, yeah. So we got 16 spread, cheese spreads and 16 cheese spread here as well, which is also a very important thing in Morocco. That's it already. Is that all? Yeah, so this is like 40 bucks, right? Call it 45 bucks. Is that much more? Is that much cheaper than in Europe or in America? You go to the market and you know buy you know buy your vegetables, maybe a little bit of chicken. You know, cook you cook like fairly local foods. You know, that's, that comes very very cheap, right? I mean, yeah, this made it more expensive, of course. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's not that cheap, right? Compared, usually we go to the market. But uh, yeah, I wanted to see the supermarket and as, as well you can pay with your, with your credit card in the supermarket, which is, you know, a good thing. Particularly good thing because, you know, you can only withdraw up to 200 dirhams a day, 
and well no you can withdraw 200 dirhams period i don't know how many times a day you can depends on your bank my bank is not a nice bank you know it's a swiss bank right and yeah they, they'll give me 200 dirham the bank here in morocco will charge something like 30 or 40 dirhams which is three to four three to five dollars even and then my bank in switzerland will charge me five francs which is a bit more than five uh five us as well per withdrawal you know adds up you see what i mean especially if you have a family you know like plastic money uh the credit card is you know is lucrative for me it's it's more attractive right because it basically doesn't charge anything you know it's, i think it's the they charge 1% for uh, the exchange rates, but still, I'll, I'll get away cheaper. But I still, you know, prefer to go to the market, you know, the guys, you know. And, and particularly in the market, nobody cares if I'm filming, right? I mean, I mean, the one or the other person might actually have, have something against me filming, the whole, but he'll just, you know, say no, or will just turn around, or, you know, will cover his face, you know. At the supermarket, you need authorization. Who's gonna? Who, who, who has an authorization? Authoriz blah, 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 blah. Who has an authorization to film? If you want to film a little supermarket, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Anyway, guys, yeah, um, in Morocco, when you're in Morocco, do not film the supermarket. Or do try, you know, they'll they'll stop you, or or be more discreet about it, you know. Go inside, you know, and then like bring out the camera, you know. I'll, I'll just march in there, you know, like <laughs> openly displaying my intentions. Um, we still got a film, right? We still got a video now. Anyway, guys, do take care and yeah, see you in my next video, right? Bye bye.